Hey everyone, Hannah here for R Drive. Today I want to show you a little bit about Drive Explorer. This is what you see when you log into R Drive. I want to give you a little bit of a lay of the land and show you a few things that I think will be helpful as you're using R Drive. So let's get into it. So this is what you see when you log into R Drive, your Drive Explorer. The thing you'll probably use the most is this bright button that says new on it. If we click on that, you'll see that this is where we create a new drive, upload files into that drive, and then organize the files using folders. You can even attach a drive that has been shared with you um, that's a public drive, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and create a new drive and get those files onto the permaweb. I'm gonna call this drive miscellaneous picks. And then I have a choice to make that drive either public or private. Public means that anybody with the drive link or 36 character drive ID can access that drive and download files from it. Something that we like to say at our drive is to not upload anything to the permaweb publicly that you wouldn't want to be remembered for. But these public drives are really awesome because whether somebody has an R drive account and password or not, they can access the files in public drives. Really cool for if you wanted to share music or um, photos or journalism. I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. So public is truly a great tool. Private means that that drive is my own, but that I have the choice to share or not any file that I want in there with anybody that I choose. And we'll show you that in a minute too. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this drive private. Okay, so now you can see that miscellaneous picks shows up on my list of personal drives here. And beside it is this lock button. So that just denotes whether the drive is public or private. Obviously private means the lock and over here Canadian websites doesn't have one and that means that it is public. If I uh, click on the drive, obviously I've got nothing in it. I can rename the drive if I feel like I ever need to, but I'm gonna get back to my new button and get some files up on that permaweb. So I'll choose this file here which is uh, one of the bays near my house and um, upload it. Okay, so now our drive is going to tell me the size of the file. And remember that this is important because we're paying for how big the file is and paying for it once and storing it for forever. So this works out to about five cents US. I'm gonna click upload and it might just take a second or two to get it on um, because this is permanent file storage. Awesome, so here is my picture. Now, when I click on it, a bunch of actions are gonna show up uh, over the top right over here. You can see that now I can download that file, I can share it, I can rename it, and I can move it. So let's rename it because this name that my phone gave it is not super helpful. I'm gonna go up here and click rename, and I'll call it uh, Caddy Bay and rename it. Now that I've got it, it's fresh spick and span name, I would like to share that file with a friend. When I click share, this link will pop up and I've got this handy copy link button there and now that link is copied and I can um, put it into an email to anybody, share it with whomever it is that I want to share it with. So I'll just go ahead and click done. Okay, so this is great that I've got my file in the drive that I've just created, but um, Miscellaneous Picks is a broad drive name and I want to create some folders to kind of organize things a little bit. So I'll call this uh, Summer 2021 and click Create. So now I've created a folder called Summer 2021 and it's going to show up in my Miscellaneous Picks drive. And when I'm on the picture that I want to move into that folder, I click Move and click Summer 2021 and then simply click move here. And as simple as that, I've created a drive, I've uploaded files into that drive, and I've organized them within my drive. And it is that simple to get your files organized and on the permaweb. So I told you that I would show you how to attach a public drive. If you were given a drive link, you can click on that link, and as I said, anybody, whether they have an R drive account or not, can access that drive and the files within it. If you're logged into your R drive, 
then when you click on that link, the, that drive will automatically show up down here in your shared drives. However, if you were giving uh, that 36 character link ID, drive ID, then you can click attach drive and you can paste the drive ID in there. The name that was given to that drive by its creator will show up here. And I can share this drive with others. I can also share the files with others. I can download the files and I can even preview the files. All right, so this is the heart and soul of our drive, is being able to create these drives, these containers that house your files and store them permanently, to be able to organize them how best makes sense to you and to be able to share them with exactly who you want to share them with. Just a couple of last things that I wanna show you while we're in the Drive Explorer is that if you go to the top right here with the circle and this person and click on it, it will show you the wallet that you're using and how much AR is left in that wallet, which is always super helpful to know. Also, if you go to the bottom right and click on this um, help circle, it will redirect you to the help page on our Drive site. I want to point out that if you click on this word knowledge base, it's going to take you to almost like an owner's manual for our drive. And I really highly recommend that you check this out. It's super easy to navigate and also to, to read. And I found it super helpful. So this is called the R drive knowledge base. And on the left hand side is going to kind of give you the table of contents for this user manual. If I click using R drive, it's going to um, show me some some other options to check out like creating a wallet logging into our drive the new button which we talked a lot about today and actions again that was the downloading and sharing and renaming and exploring which is going to show you some public drives that you can attach and check out yourself also helpful is FAQs if you have a question about our drive chances are somebody else has already had that question so check out the FAQs it's really helpful However, if you're still having troubles, uh, your question still hasn't been answered by the knowledge base, you can come back here to the R Drive help page and come down to Let's Go. That'll take you to the, this is the type form, and it'll just ask you a couple questions just to understand your, your question a little bit better. And then someone from the R Drive team will help you out, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's it for Drive Explorer. That's it for me today. I hope you have a great time as you create your drives and organize your files and share them with exactly who you want to share them with.